A waffle chart is a simple visual way to show percentages or parts of a whole. This makes it easy to compare categories or track progress. I'm going to build a basic waffle chart in Tableau in under 5 minutes, and it starts with the grid setup. For the grid, I'll go to Data and add a new data source. And I'll choose to add an Excel file that I have linked in the description. You can see this provides a 10 by 10 grid layout using columns and rows fields. This will ensure that there's 100 squares that can be evenly divided to represent the distribution of the category. And while I'm doing 100 squares here, you can customize the layout with any number of squares that you want. On the waffle worksheet, I'll start out by adding the columns field to the columns. Then I'll right click to make this a dimension, and I'll right click again to make it discrete. I'll also add the rows field to the rows, and I'll right click again to make it a dimension, and right click again to make it discrete. So you can see how this gives us a structured grid of a 10 by 10 layout. And we're going to fill these ABCs in with the squares of the waffle chart. I'll click on the data source containing the field I want to use to control the coloring of the waffle chart. In this case, I'm using the status field, which has three values, complete, pending, and canceled. I'll right click on the status field to create a calculative field to represent the proportion for the first value, which is complete. So I'll start off by getting the orders that have the complete status. I'll say if the status equals complete, then the order ID. And I want to know the total number of orders that have the complete status, so I'm going to wrap this in the count distinct function. Then I want to divide it by the total number of orders, which is the count distinct of the order ID. So this gives me the proportion of orders with the status complete relative to the total number of orders. Since the other fields will have such a similar structure, I'm going to right click on the status complete field to duplicate it. I'll edit this field, and this time I'll do it for pending. Then I'll repeat that process by duplicating the status pending field, and this time I'll edit it for the canceled orders. So now we have a field that represents the proportion of orders for each status. I'll go back to the waffle chart data source, and I'll create a calculated field to determine the waffle status percentage. This formula is going to assign one of the statuses to each square within the waffle chart. This first part calculates the position of each square in the waffle chart. Then we'll compare these positions to the percentages for the status. If the square's position is within the percentage for complete, then it's labeled as complete. I'll repeat this process by copying this line and pasting it. And we've already assigned the complete squares, so we need to add pending to get the percentages combined. So this is ensuring that the pending squares are assigned only after the complete squares stop. And while you could repeat this process for the canceled status, I'm just going to type else canceled, since the squares that are not filled in by the complete or pending conditions should be labeled canceled. And this will complete the waffle chart by categorizing all the squares according to the proportions of each status. To adjust this to account for a different number of squares, we just need to change two parts of the formula. So say you had a 5 by 5 grid with a total of 25 squares, rather than a 10 by 10 grid with a total of 100 squares, you would just need to change the 10s in this formula to 5s, and the 100s in this formula to 25s. So this really does work with any number of squares that you want to add. To make the squares appear, I'll start by moving the waffle status percent field into the marks. Then I'll make this a color so we can see the proportion of each status represented by different colored squares. And we don't need the headers anymore, so I'm going to remove these. Then I'll drag this down so we get a more square format. I'm also going to quickly format the worksheet and remove the shading of the worksheet. Under borders, I'll remove the row divider. That way we're left with just the waffle chart. Then you can edit the colors using the legend. And since cancels a negative status, I'm going to make this a light red. Since complete is a positive status, I'm going to make this a light green. And since pending is a neutral status, I'll make this a light yellow. Then you can use the size slider in the marks to adjust the size of the squares. 